Okay, just a quick test showing the uh, ESR or series resistance capabilities of the DE5000. I have a 6000 microfarad uh, capacitor. I have a length of wire here that I'm using just as a calibrated resistor. I have my micro ohm meter spaced here to give me uh, roughly 20 milli ohms. I'm in pulse mode now so that it only uh, applies the one amp of measuring current when I hit the pulse and takes one reading and latches it. So it only gets a uh, 160 millisecond burst of amperage so we're not warming the wire. So we're within 60 micro ohms of being 20 uh, milli ohms. Then I have a spot marked here uh, in red where I can just put my other clamp, my other uh, Kelvin clip, and I come up here and check that this is very close to 10 milli ohms, within 16 micro ohms of being 10 milli ohms. So that gives us a calibrated wire so that we can add 10 and 20 milli ohms of series resistance to this capacitor reading. So now I'm taking the um, micro, micro ohm meter clips off and we're coming over and putting the DE5000 on, putting my plus lead. By the way, these are Kelvin clips. Even though they look like standard Pomona pinchers, they are Kelvin connections. Um, there's a video on these if you're, if you're interested on the, uh, on the site. Um, so now I'm just going to measure the straight ESR, or the series resistance of this cap. And um, yeah. you'll see that that's roughly uh, 59 milli ohms. And um, it's pretty stable. Uh, it doesn't bobble much. So now, in theory, if this thing measures series resistance well, I should be able to just move down to my additional 10 ohm position, or 10 milli ohm position, add it, and I should have 68 or 69 uh, milli ohms, which I do. So exactly 10 more milli ohms of, of uh, series resistance. And I come to my end where I was calibrated at my 20 additional milli ohms connect there and there we are 79 on the nose uh, and then just for a fun resistance measurement to see if we get any concurrence between my micro ohm meter and my uh, the uh, LCR meter we'll connect what should be 10 milli ohms it is spot on and if we come over to our 20 milli ohm spot that the micro ohm meter was right on 20 milli ohms and if we come back to our capacitor I uh, gotta get, put the right leads on it's my positive lead down here it's electrolytic so even though it's a very small voltage we still should pay attention and we come back on here and we should get our 58, 59 59 spot on just see if it's repeatable. Come down to our additional 10, should be 69. We're within one milli ohm there. And I believe my is my position good. Okay, there's my positioning. All right, I was off a little bit <laughs> my position and come down to the end here. We should add initial 20, should be 79. There it is. So like I've been saying on the forum, you have a tough time getting a better milliohm meter to begin with. And this thing is extremely accurate on ESR and it has single digit resolution and repeatability. Uh, so I hope that helps.